we thought we would go over today two different macaroni and cheeses, Nick's style and then my style. Okay, hey everyone. Hi everyone. <laughs> Nick and I are doing a cooking video today. Nick, uh, do you want to tell us where we are? So my day job is as a real estate agent, so this is at one of my listings at 315 East 65th Street. So thank you to the owner for letting us film this here. So today I thought we would do a cooking video. Now Nick can't cook. He can make like one thing. We thought we would go over today two different macaroni and cheeses. Nick's style and then my style, which is... The correct way and the pretentious way. Let's go. All right, so pay attention closely everybody because it does get complicated. <laughs> Start off with white cheddar. Why did you pick Crap. white cheddar, not the normal? Because it's the best one. And I'm, I just feel all spicy. I don't. <laughs> Leave in the comments your favorite Kraft mac and cheese. Mine's actually spirals. You start by opening the box and remove all packages. <laughs> oh, see, it's not even the good pasta. I hate the little shell. Oh, I hate you. The so here we are. <laughs> so this is the cheese. Save that for later. So we're gonna take our pan, fill it with water. I don't know. You're cooking. You, you tell me. Jesus, my hand was there. Set it and forget it. So then to prep, you grab your butter. We'll be needing four tablespoons and your milk, which will be needing a fourth of a cup and a spoon. Now we wait. <laughs> <laughs> what was the first thing as a child you learned how to make? We would cook with my mom every night. So I, I mean, the thing I learned how to make on my own pasta with butter, we used to make pizza dough once a week and so it was like fun. Me and my brother and sister, you put the yeast, you watch it rise, and then you like we all could make our own individual pizzas, which I'm sure look like shit. First thing that what I learned how say? to cook. What, what? Was probably Road those ramen, <laughs> ramen <laughs> packets sauteed with roadkill. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I did ramen packets or craft. Oh, your water's almost boiling. It's not even close to being boiled. In about 30 seconds, it's gonna be boiling. Anyways, now what? Get, get ready, start making your pasta. Get ready what? To pour in the noodles? Well, are you gonna salt the water? Fuck. Celtic sea salt. It's literally boiling. I don't know, what are you waiting for? All right, so now that it's boiling, we take our pasta shells, to be specific, and you just pour but don't throw away the box because you need the instructions. Then we take our spoon. <laughs> You've done that already. Shut the hell up, this is my segment. Now we wait. There's a great interview with Barbara Walters. Who is she interviewing again? Some NBA was like a racist piece of shit. Anyway, so he had this assistant, but Barbara Walters was interviewing her. I'm sure Barbara Walters was like, I've, I've, I've interviewed Fidel Castro, Putin, Obama, and Oprah. And now I'm stuck with this slut. She goes, what's your relationship? She goes, I can be his anything, his friend, his confidant, his silly rabbit. And Barbara goes, his what? His silly rabbit. Does he call you that? No. <laughs> Three people watching will know exactly what we're talking about. Oh yeah, she died. Celine, when you were younger, you were the ugliest child <laughs> in the world. Why don't you tell us a little more about that? You and I look so sad looking at this. I can't wait for this to be done so I can eat it. I'm genuinely excited for your pasta. So you just keep stirring. When it's done, it's just a guttural feeling. Well, you can taste it. When it's done, it's just like a guttural feeling. Your shoulders look like a fucking curtain rod. There's, there's so wide, you look like a curtain from behind. <gasps> One time there was this guy, he was at dinner with me, Bob and Nick. Nick and I were so mean to each other, <laughs> but we think it's funny. But he I was funny. flabbergasted. He was like, I can't believe you guys talk to each other this way. He's like, my friends and I are so sweet and nice to each other. We're like- That means you don't have friends. Yeah. <laughs> Nick's like, well then you can't hang out with us. If you can't, you gotta have tough skin. Turns out. He didn't want to hang out with us anyways. <laughs> so I'm just gonna turn this off. I think it's done. Fuck. <laughs> Pour it in the strainer. Are you gonna reserve any of that pasta water? Is this your segment or mine? <laughs> Earnest question. Put the hot pot back <laughs> on the stove. We need our butter. Quick tip for you. On every butter packet, actually tells you. So no thinking involved. You just go to the number four, slice right through that paper. You can choose either side, because they're the same. I'm going with the top side for reasons. Yeah. <laughs> Gently toss that in. Let it melt a little. Your pasta's now completely stuck together. Then we're gonna get the pasta. Fucking Christ. <laughs> We bring it over and just gently pour it in. And then we're just gonna mix. Mixy, mixy, mix. 
cakes. You want the butter to be melted. Now my assistant <laughs> will be going into the refrigerator and getting the milk for me. I can't remember what you do first. <laughs> So we're going to do the cheese. That's actually how I do it. I do the butter, then the cheese, then the milk. It's exact. I do it the same way. Did you want to interrupt anymore? <laughs> yes. Now we just lightly pour <laughs> the finely grated cheese. Oh my God. Okay. Take the bag. You want all the contents. <laughs> Stir. Now you may be thinking to yourself, God. This looks dry. Dry no more. And then you just stir it together. Listen to that. Sounds like Mateo's jerking off off camera. <laughs> <laughs> now this is a PSA. That's what it looks like afterwards if too. If it sounds like that, go to your doctor. <laughs> <laughs> then to top it off, it. optional. I do this. You don't have to. We add some pepper. I forgot how aggressive you are with the pepper. Oh, Jesus, this comes out fast. It's a good thing I like pepper. <laughs> Nick, that's enough pepper. Oh, I didn't realize we were making it to Mateo's liking. <laughs> and then you stir it. Let's feed each other. I do not want to feed each no, other. No, come on, we do the arm thing. <laughs> no, uh, Nick, I'm not. Think of the not. memories. <laughs> I don't want memories Think of you. the memories, just try it. Ready? Why are you out there? Because we got to hook arms. So we're feeding ourselves. <laughs> You're an idiot. And? I think it's great. A little peppery. <laughs> <laughs> Just get something to wash that down. <laughs> it's like spicy. <laughs> you can feel the peppery. There's a grit to it. <laughs> <laughs> How did you mess up? And there you have it. How did you mess up Kraft macaroni and cheese? You ruined it. All right, now you show us. Okay, one more bite. Oh, so it is good. Mm -hmm. Three bites. <laughs> I'm hungry. So I'm doing an Italian four cheese macaroni and cheese recipe I saw recently on the Pasta Queen. But I've had it before in Italy and it's very good. So let's go over the ingredients. We have whipping cream, whole milk, pepper, ground nutmeg, gorgonzola dolce, it's like a sweet gorgonzola. This is parmigiano reggiano, and then this is fontina, and some butter, like Nick, shell pasta. I'm gonna stop you right there. Does your mother know that you lie? 30 seconds ago, did he say, I'm making a four cheese Italian mac and cheese? How many cheeses did you just say? Oh yeah, you're right. How many cheeses did you just say? Do you want more fontina? How many cheeses? If a car ran you over, I would sleep so soundly. And I'd still soundly. be right. Three cheeses. Well, we were supposed to have provolone. No one had it, and the only provolone they did have was sliced provolone. So, okay, in a saute pan, we are going to mix heavy whipping cream. You didn't whip it, though. It's called heavy whipping cream, Nick. And some milk. We're gonna let that start to simmer. Actually, no, I'm gonna put the butter in while we do it. There we go. Nick and I saw Wicked. We really liked, we, you know. One of our favorite shows. Like a year ago. It was good. The girl playing Alphaba, I think she had an off night. Look, I used to be a performer. We all have off nights. But the one part that specifically just really got us together is... No Good Deed. No Good Deed. And anyone that's seen the show, the part where it's like, dun, 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 dun. She's stepping back and the fan's there and she goes, no good deed. She's not over the fan. And she realizes she's not over the fan. But anyone that knows how wind works <laughs> is when you start, the wind will just take you up. But if it's already going and you step into it, it's just a recipe for disaster. <laughs> so we're in the audience and she's like, no good deed, but nothing's happening. And all of a sudden you see her realize and she steps on the fan and everything just goes AWOL. And she goes, no good deed goes unpunished. <laughs> <laughs> Charity goes, oh, and she She's like trying to get out of it, but she's like caught in the cake. <laughs> not supposed to be a funny moment. We could not stop laughing. <laughs> there was so many times Nick and I just grabbed and each other. And then in the same song, Spotlight hits her. She's not in the light. <laughs> so it was Spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> she needed to go over blocking again. Yeah, that was. It might have been the eighth show that week. Who knows? <laughs> she tried. <laughs> she tried. Yeah, I mean, the show's good. I mean, the, the singers are all- It's a great show. It's a great show, but it just, it, I think she was just, I think the night- It was an off night. Mateo has them all the time. <laughs> butter and milk I have started like to- I feel like that's a lot of liquid. Our butter and milk have started to boil. So we're gonna take all of our Parmesan, put in our Parmesan cheese. We're probably putting more Parmesan here too. I'm putting in our Fontina, okay. 
turn this. Juana Fanta. Would you like me to salt it? I would not. Okay, we're gonna salt our water. It's Celtic, so. Yeah, I don't know what Celtic salt. <laughs> you gotta do this while we salt it. <laughs> oh, this looks great, okay. Uh, will you chop more Parmesan cheese? With we're gonna this? add our gorgonzola dolce. Gorgonzola dolce. A nice, rich flavor. I don't have the arm strength for this. All right, now we're gonna put in a little bit of nutmeg, a little pepper, a little. Do you want me to add the Parmesan? No, not yet. Looks like you're making cheese soup. Remember Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the mom had? Cheer up, Charlie. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. Do you want to try some, Nick? Cheese soup, I'll pass. Gas. <laughs> okay. Here you go, here you go. Blow it. <laughs> You're gonna burn yourself. You, you, you do it yourself, I don't wanna fucking burn you. <laughs> Second round of Parmigiano. Reggiano. Reggiano. How would Liza do, Alphaba? I'm the one you want. It is me. It's me! So if you can! And Lady Gaga is Glenda wheeling her in. <laughs> she rises with her. <laughs> I must reserve some pasta water. Just getting your dreams, as strange as it seems. Okay, pour our pasta in. I feel like it's missing pepper. I have pepper in it, Nick. <laughs> I don't have a, an obscene amount of pepper in it, There's, It's all white, I don't see any pepper. A gorgeous three, three cheese sauce. sauce. <laughs> okay, and I've turned the heat off by now. So the heat, once you put the pasta in, turn the heat off. You didn't want the rest of that shell, Nick? <laughs> Fucking idiot. Yeah, of course. You didn't say that when I was plating mine. Well, I just had whatever. Well, you just... Well, you, you couldn't finish it, yours because so you didn't lick your own. Yeah, well, you didn't even ask. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and here we go. Macaroni and cheese. <laughs> <gasps> Fucking Christ, you burning me? You burned us with your pepper. <laughs> I feel like missing provolone. <laughs> provolone is literally the mildest cheese, it's just their protector. All right, that's it. Um, if you want to buy this apartment, Nick, how do they do it? There will be a link in the description for the property. If you want to come see us. And if not, there's also links to follow me and Mateo on social media. Come um, see me on tour, the Al Dente tour, MateoLaneComedy.com, and I have merch. And uh, yeah.